Another International Fight Week is upon us. We're here in uh, the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, for Saturday night's UFC 239, headlined by an epic light heavyweight main event between champion John Jones and title challenger Thiago Santos. I'm Nick Baldwin of Severe MMA. That is UFC middleweight Julian Marquez, and this is the UFC 239 preview show. Julian, I appreciate you doing this. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. We'll start with the main event, John Jones, Thiago Santos. John Jones is a big favorite, but he's a big favorite against most of his opponents, maybe except for Daniel Cormier, Alexander Gustafson, top competitors, top competitors like that. But even still, he comes out the betting favorite in every of his fights. How much of a chance, first of all, do you give Santos tomorrow night? So everyone has a chance. This is mixed martial arts. This is an octagon fight, man. You're inside of a cage. You can't go anywhere. You have five minutes each round to go there and try to knock that person out. Santo comes with a ginormous amount of power. This guy has been using spinning back kicks. He has a nasty left hook as well as his left leg kick. It's powerful and it's been dropping people left and right. Um, it's a huge chance, you know. If he connects one of them, yeah, of course. John Jones is going to have to be smart with his stuff. But that's what makes him that huge draw and that huge favorite is because he has a high-end IQ. Thiago Santos, this is a guy who comes forward. He, he looks to bang. He looks to knock your head off early in the fight. How does John Jones prepare, prepare for that? And I, I would assume he's ready for it. He's done the right things in camp. But what do you have to do as a guy like John Jones to, uh, to prepare for what Thiago Santos brings to the table? Well, with Thiago Santos, you have to get him worried quick. Um, he's going to come out with a lot of power tremendously, and he's going to try to use all the explosiveness to cover the distance. So if I were John Jones, I would use front teep kicks to the face as well as head kicks. Reason being is if you use a teep kick to the face, it keeps the distance at range, and he won't jump in as quick. And as long as you throw head kicks, he's going to have to keep his hands up to block. When he blocks them, he's not going to be able to throw those punches. So it's going to slow him down and frustrate him. Where would you rank your excitement level for this fight compared to other John Jones fights? I mean, in, in comparison to a Gustafson in the rematch or Anthony Smith, I, I know I asked you and, and, and you already said Thiago Santos, of course, has a chance. Everyone has a chance. But I guess in, in comparison to some of Jones' uh, most recent opponents, where would you sort of rank that? So me, I'm a fan. I love fighting. I love everything down. What John Jones does all the way down from the subtle movements of shifting his feet, everything. I don't get excited just because he's fighting against somebody that's a high name or a low name or this, that, and the other. I get excited when he goes in there to actually study his artwork and what he moves. And this one's a high ranking one because we've never seen him fight against someone with so much explosiveness, so much diversity, and so much power. Like this one, it, it's just as high as the rest. You know, every fighter has a different obstacle and every fighter has a different type of, you know, rhythm that you have to figure out and I want to see what John Jones has to do with this and I want to see what Tiago Santos has to do to bring to try to challenge John Jones. This 2019 John Jones I think it's fair to say this is a different guy than a few years ago, two years ago, even last year. This is a guy who wants to defend his title as much as he can, stay active, fight the, the top content the top uh, contenders at light heavyweight not move up not take these super fights this is john jones uh doing what i mean it's doing what he wants to do he's fighting anthony smith now now tiago santos he wants another one at the end of the year do you like this from john jones after a lot of time away over the past few years i i love it i know exactly his feeling i know he wants to just get in there and keep on fighting and performing and going out there and doing what he can because this is something he loves you can see his passion you can see when he talks about it you can see when he talks to his fan is what he does on his social media he loves this so fighting is his life is his career and he's been away from it for so long and he's let his body heal up for that period of time to now he can sit there and go through these four fights a year five fights a year if he wants to because He's, he's been waiting for this moment. 